right? What a day. Yep. Get up at 4.30. Me and Carol have our coffee. And, uh, end up going to Walmart. I did. So, go in there, get the stuff I get, and, uh, check out. As I'm checking out, uh, one of the clerks make a comment of, oh, card only. That's it. Card only. I'm like, okay. Thanks for barking that out to me. Uh, you need to post a sign. Just a small sign. And uh, that would help. You wouldn't have to bark that out as you're going through this little narrow aisle to get to this south checkout. Fine. And uh, I check all my stuff out and mosey out towards the exit. When I see this guy kind of barging through the uh, exit, well, they have these little they're like bar bar things, you know, that open and close so you can get in and out of the store. And if you're going one way out the store through them, they ring a little alarm. And this guy comes barging through there, and the cart is stuffed. The top of the cart stuffed, underneath the cart is stuffed. And uh, the lady's like, hey, 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 wait a minute, stop, stop. And the guy just keeps barreling through at a good fast walking pace now I'm about 10 feet away from this and I just keep going out the door and I see the guy just waltzing down like nothing and uh, I get to my truck which is I park quite a ways away it happened to be raining pretty hard so I uh, I parked uh, halfway usually I park the very end of the parking lot uh, but this time I didn't so it's halfway and then I get there and I notice the guy stops by this car and uh, looks like he's gonna load all the stuff in the car so he stays there for about 10 seconds and I get my camcorder out to record it but in such a hurry I forgot to push the record so that happens. So I said, well, I'll just wind around and see what's going on, you know, and uh, maybe help Walmart out. This guy uh, evidently had, and none of them was food. It was all major items, you know, women's purse, knives, all kinds of stuff in there. So as I come around and go to the other lane of the parking lot, it... Uh, He's walking, now he's getting towards the end of the parking lot at a very quick pace and heading towards Carl's Jr. And I uh, come up behind him and pull over to his right side, which is my left side, and I stop the truck. And uh, he stops the cart, turns around like he's going to charge me but then he stops and looks and uh, hesitates and then just takes off kind of running. And uh, meanwhile, I'm thinking my camcorder is going, but it's not. So I grab and take possession of the cart and uh, proceed to uh, load the things back in the truck as I see the guy kind of. He gets about maybe uh, less than 100 yards away, and then he starts to a fast walk. Uh, this guy was overweight, you know, couldn't couldn't go very far at that, that fast of a pace. And uh, so uh, 
I take the cart back up to the front of the store and uh, pull up there, put on my emergency flashers, and uh, the woman's in there gathering around and talking to everybody, telling them. I said, hey, hey, I got all the stuff. Uh, I retrieved all the stuff from this guy, and, uh, you know, he's uh, he took off. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Comes out to my truck, and I... I Pulled the tailgate down. She goes, well, can you lift it, uh, carry this stuff out? And I'm thinking, what? I don't work here. I'm not an employee. I'm not an associate. And you can't get anybody up here to help you carry this stuff out of there? The only reason I got it lifted in there is because of the... Uh, adrenaline that was going through me when when this whole incident happened and you're asking me to unload it and finally she gets a hold of some people and they unload it and this and that and and it was just uh thank you thank you like see you later thank you so uh i'll go that's it huh yeah we appreciate it thank you so i get my truck and i take off and I said, you know what, that ticks me off. A thank you? That's it? So I go back in to the store. Now, I would say less than five minutes have gone by since they've taken the stuff out of my truck. And I walk in the store, and, and, and the woman's over there giddy-gabbing with a bunch of people. And, and then I come around to where the customer service is, and <clears throat> there they are. There's about three of them gathering around and they're, they're scanning everything to see how much of value was taken. And I go, hey, I, I just retrieved that for you. You know, I went and hunted the guy down and got the cart back from him and brought it back up here and, uh, you know, took my camera, dropped my camera. It's broke. And, uh, you know... Oh, 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 thank you, thank you. We we appreciate it, thank you. Uh, I go, I have part of this on camera. And uh, so they're like, oh yeah, okay, thank you. I said, okay, you know what? I'll never do that again. I will never do that again. I will never help you out again. Dropped my camera, it busted on the ground. I chased this guy down, and it's a thank you. I bought this damn camera here at this Walmart 10 years ago. It was $198. And that's it. Thank you. That's it. This is Walmart in Lebanon. These people are not even in their right mind. I mean, I, I, I could put myself in their place. Somebody pulled up and retrieved some stuff that someone stole, and I was on watch to make sure it doesn't go away. And then I wouldn't tell the person, hey, well, can you unload that stuff from your truck? I would say, hey, just move them here. I'll get it out of here. Just let me get some help. I wouldn't ask that person to unload it. And after he's went and recovered stuff that I just let go out the door, unbelievable, Walmart. Unbelievable. You guys are not right. You don't even treat your customers right. You didn't treat me right. After I chased down some goon that just robbed half of your stuff. And all I give is a thank you. Yeah. And I'm not the only one that complains about your store. I just got done talking to a woman in... Salem, and it's the same issue. There's issues you need to take care of.